Assalamu alaikum everyone. My name is Tansi Tuau, but more well known as Taufik. I am from Singapore and am currently studying in secondary two. Today, I will be sharing about how we can bring our beloved Prophet Muhammad closer to the hearts of our team. Following the trees we are quiz we had just now, I would like to hereby highlight and talk more about the importance of teenagers and the use in our Myanmar Muslim community to know fondly of our beloved prophet and his practices so as to allow us to gain a better insight on our prophet and keep him close to our hearts. Let me take the opportunity to share how us youths can build these strong connections with our prophet and also how parents can build this love of our prophet in our children. Why is it important to keep the prophet close to the hearts of our teens? This is because we live in a time where our youths of this generation are heavily influenced from what they hear and learn about when they are young and keep these lessons with them all the way to the future. Doing this during their youth is vital in cultivating the same habits that our prophet had and always remembering him close to our hearts. Furthermore, it is also our duty as Muslims to never forget about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's messenger who shows us the guiding light towards heaven. Hence, it is very important that we keep our prophet close to our hearts in our youth. So, do you know how we can make the prophet come alive in our hearts? There is a large variety of ways to do so. These methods include reading sirah tidbits, eating together like the prophet, sharing stories of the prophet and the youths around him, feeding the hungry like the prophet, cultivating the what would Prophet Muhammad do? Question in their minds. Managing their anger like the Prophet. And finally, writing a heartfelt letter to the Prophet. Now, let me provide more details on how each of these methods work in working towards our goal of forging unbreakable connections with the Prophet. Firstly, we need to read Sirah Tidbits. This means that we must actively read and learn more about our beloved prophet to find out more about his life. As you may know, many teens are slowly becoming bookworms who love to catch more knowledge and broaden their horizon. Reading about our prophet is the best way to cultivate a proper attitude towards him and make him our role model for all of our endeavors and dreams that we do. Likewise, we can more effectively do this through technology. The age of social media has blossomed and many teenagers are using it on a daily basis. Hence, you can take the initiative to send information to your children online so as to allow them to learn more about our prophet. Once a week, text the relevant message about the prophet to your team. It could be a dua he said before undertaking a challenging task. 
which is ideal to send during final exams. Or it could simply be one of his habits on Fridays, such as cutting his nails. The point is to make his life, the big and small things, come alive and apply to your team. Additionally, we can also make our beloved prophet come alive in our teams through simply creating the habit of making them eat together as a family, just like our prophet. The prophet said, eat together and not separately, for the blessing is associated with the company. This is because our beloved prophet truly believes the significance of family orientation, which is spending time, which is valuable, together with our loved ones, especially in trivial things, such as eating together. This connects our family, brings about better communication between family members. This also creates a better appetite, which facilitates healthy living. Eating together also helps to bring about a more innocent mindset, which will stick with us to the future and make sure that we, as teenagers, will stay out of trouble when we grow up. Some may say that this is not very possible, especially between jobs, extracurricular activities, and other family commitments. However, we must all try our best to make it a priority on the weekend. Besides that, we can bring our beloved prophet come closer to the hearts of our teenagers by being a role model to them or teaching them to feed the hungry. As we all know, there are many people on this earth that are in poverty and are not as fortunate as some of us may be. This means that they suffer on a daily basis from poor living conditions and hunger. During his life, Prophet Muhammad proactively helped those that were needy and never left anyone he saw hungry. Feeding the hungry was one of the Prophet's regular tasks. Even as he and his companions suffered unbearable hunger. This shows us he was very charitable and put others before himself, teaching our teens to do the same and help others in need is effective in bringing the prophet closer to their hearts. Teens have great energy and dynamics and this will help them develop their mindsets for the future. For example, we can organize a day when youths are fasting to volunteer to feed those in need. So they can truly experience hunger while feeding the hungry, just like the prophet did. This will inevitably bring the prophet closer to the hearts and minds of our children. Moreover, we can bring our beloved prophet closer to the hearts of our teens through learning how to manage their anger and stress. It is certain that we will get angry in our lives, no matter what. There will always be some problems that stresses us out, leading to us being unnecessarily angry. This is something that our prophet believes 
to be highly negative as it expressed our hatred or dislike towards someone or something. This made him realize that managing his anger was of utmost importance as it would impact other people around him as well. If we as teens learn how to manage our anger, we will be able to live a peaceful and fulfilling life, just like our beloved Prophet Muhammad did in his lifetime. You can encourage your children to manage their anger through a variety of ways. These range from sitting is standing up when overcome with anger to saying, I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed shaitan. Furthermore, another way we can bring the Prophet closer to the heart of our teens is to write a heartfelt letter to the Prophet. This will allow us to show our positive expressions towards our beloved Prophet. We can show our appreciation and thankfulness towards our Prophet Muhammad for bringing us to a brighter future ahead. Writing this message allows our teens to feel a strong and personal connection with our beloved Prophet, giving them a clearer understanding of all the sacrifices he has made for us. If they feel comfortable, encourage them to share it with family and maybe even post it as a note on their Facebook page to spur their friends to do the same. We can spread the influence of our love for the beloved prophet effectively through this way. Last but not least, we can bring our beloved prophet closer to the hearts of our teens through instilling the what would Prophet Muhammad do question in their minds. What does this mean? It means to make them personally reflect on whether their actions are good or bad, right or wrong, and allow them to rethink of a different approach towards a situation. As we see Prophet Muhammad as our main role model, making this comparison of our actions will lead us to see the darkness and light of our own actions, preventing us from getting into any major trouble in our lives. This is the best way to build character using the example of the best of examples of humanity. Our beloved prophet can play a part in guiding the path that our teenagers should take to move towards a successful and enriching life. Thank you all very much for listening to this presentation. I hope that our beloved prophet grows closer to all of our hearts and we will always remember him fondly. Through this sharing, I urge everyone to take the initiative to put one of these actions into effect so as to make a meaningful impact in the lives of our teenagers. Thank you very much for listening.